For the second day in a row, Tri-State drivers are fuming tonight over the big jump in gas prices this week. Many stations went from $3.79 to $4.15 a gallon in just minutes yesterday, as we reported. And many of those drivers are now wondering why Speedway stations, the first to jump above four bucks, were able to set such a high price. Drivers across the tri-state were stunned and angry to see gas prices jump to $4.15 a gallon this week. It's killing me. <laughs> you don't want to spend this kind of money? I don't want to spend this kind of money. Many of them are directing their anger at Speedway, the first local chain to go past the $4 mark. Bob Kramer wrote 9 News to say, John, you're always talking about things that stink. How about Speedway leading the way, raising gas 25 cents? Chris Drago writes, gas prices just went up to four fifteen nine at Speedway. Doesn't that stink? Speedway goes up, everybody else will go up around them. Last year, 9 News price spotter Ron McKitty showed Channel 9's Brendan Keefe how Speedway is almost always the first to raise prices. Why? According to a new report in the Dayton Daily News, Speedway is able to set prices in the tri-state because of its sheer size, with almost 450 stations in the region. In addition, our I-team analyzed satellite photos and found that 63 Speedway stations in Cincinnati, two-thirds of all local Speedways, do not have competition on the same corner. Speedway won't comment on its pricing moves, but typically when oil jumps, its prices go up first and everyone else plays follow the leader. Now in Speedway's defense, however, its prices are not really out of line with stations in other areas. In Chicago, in fact, drivers are paying almost $5 a gallon right now and there are no Speedway stations in the Chicago area. So buying gas somewhere else really won't change anything, unfortunately. On